Okay, so we're going to learn how to edit an article. So the edit article, what you have is the title. Make sure that the first letter is capitalized for each of the title. You do not need a period or anything, any punctuation in your title. You can make the largest size 12 to keep, keep conformity to the style of HWC. You want to perhaps create a bold for your titles. You would like to read through and make sure that your spelling is correct all around and create subheads. So you create the summary of what you're going to be reading. Put a subhead and make that bold and continue on doing that with each of your paragraphs. So this paragraph we know is going to be about the relationship between Stramonium and Calcarea Carbonicum. Put a space in between. Remove any extra spaces. If you have extra spaces, remove them. Uh, here we have unsuitable postures in a previous chapter, but I don't know what this is referring to. If you've written a different chapter on HWC, you can highlight it and go to the link and then create a link that moves us to the page on HWC. Okay, and then we're going to continue on and this paragraph I seem to see it's going to be about Hyacinthus and Staphysagria, the relationship and the difference between those two. So he says there's a state predisposing one to another and these are pairs of remedies that work in relationship. The next one is Nature Mira and Ignatia. And here he's talking about arsenicum and aconite. So you might want to say arsenicum and aconite and what those the relationship is there. Here is another one. Here is a calcarea and I'm not sure uh, exactly what the relationship is. So here we have calcarea and roostox. Okay. Okay, and then the next one is about nux vomica, nux, and sulfur. So now we're kind of getting prepared for what we're going to be reading here, which is nice to set it into our mind, into our memory. And of course, put the space after each paragraph, get rid of the extra extra spaces, and you have a famous relationship between pulse, pulsatilla, pulsatilla and silica and the computer screen just keeps jumping so don't mind that and I'm getting rid of these extra spaces again okay and so you just continue your entire article this way and you'll see how much nicer it looks, how much more legible it is, and how you can focus and highlight certain things by using this technique of eliminating extra spaces, putting subheads, highlighting them with a bold, removing any extra spaces. and um, putting a line space in between your paragraphs, it will really make it stand out and be very easy to skim an article when it looks like this, when it is composed in this way. Okay, so you just have to finish your article this way, and then at the end, you publish it. And then you'll wait for it 